What's happening YouTube family? Dominic here and in this video today I'm going to be talking about the top five high income skills that can make you over $10,000 per month and some of these you don't even need a degree so if you want to make some money pretty fast in a space of a year where you can start learning a skill and start monetizing a skill in the next few months you're in the right place because I'm about to explain to you some of the top 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 high income skills that are out there that can make you a lot of cash now making over a hundred and twenty thousand per year is not something that a lot of people earn but you can so what I want you to do is hit that subscription button if you're new here and turn the post notification bell on so when I upload in the future you don't miss any content and do me a massive favor smash that like button because in about 10 seconds I'm about to go in and explain to you some of the best high income skills that you can get started with in literally the next few weeks to a month just by learning simple skills don't go nowhere and I'll see you in a bit Welcome back. Now the first skill that I recommend you consider is copywriting. Now copywriting is literally the act of writing good words, good context, good information that is persuasive. So it could be written context for a blog which convinces someone to take an action and buy something or opt in for a product or service. It could be writing a Google ad, a Facebook ad, um, it could be writing a good caption on Instagram. It could be writing good email copy for an email marketing um, campaign. It could be just writing context that goes into a brochure that literally convinces and persuades people to take some form of action. Companies are willing to spend a lot of money for people who can write really good. And you don't need a degree to write really well now of course there's courses that you can take of course of course there are courses you can take for to, in order to write better you can check out udemy.com you can check out like so many different platforms where you can learn the skill of copywriting and then once you've learned the skill you can work with a few clients and then you can advertise yourself on upwork on fiverr.com and start building a portfolio of clients then the moment where you get you know like a good case study where you can like show other clientele results that you've managed to get for your previous clients you can then start charging for example three thousand five thousand pounds to write for example a whole email marketing campaign the moment you have two to three clients paying you like 5k a month if you have three clients paying you 5k a month, that's 5, 10, 15,000 pounds a month, right? The moment you get that, you're gone. You're gone, Claire. The rest is history. And there are companies that are willing to spend 5,000 pounds a month if you produce content for their blog. It could be one article a week. It could be writing an email marketing campaign for them that sells their products or their services. It could be, you know, help to you know redesign their website and add new content wherever the case might be people are willing to spend a lot of money for good copywriters now dan lock another youtuber talks a lot about copywriting it's how he's become a millionaire he literally says if it wasn't for copywriting he wouldn't be where he is today so check out dan lock you can get a lot of information on copywriting from him now the second high income skill i tell people to look at all the time is web design. Now, web design just requires you to have a good understanding of like graphic design and literally user interface and how people will interact with a website. And the reason why web design is now a high income skill is because although there's platforms like Squarespace, there's platforms like Wix, there's platforms like 
GoDaddy where you can literally build your website. There's WordPress and the list goes on. Different platforms, Magenta, I mean, the list goes on, right? People are still willing to spend a lot of money on good web designers and they're willing to pay thousands of pounds for a web designer and it doesn't mean that you need to start learning Java and HTML to earn six figures from web design because it's something which people are happy to invest in especially if they are not a brick and mortar store or if they're a brick and mortar store and they want to establish some online presence so honestly consider web design people pay a lot of money for good web developers now the third high income skill is day trading now not a lot of people know how to day trade it is a skill in order to learn how to buy and sell different financial instruments is a skill set and not many people have it and a lot of people try to sell these courses but they don't even know what they're doing themselves and they're selling signals and all these different things but if you know how to read a chart and read different financial instrument different graphs and selling coins and selling you know financial pairs and all of this stuff hey you can make a lot of money now there's people out there who are making thousands and thousand pounds a day just from day trading i personally don't day trade i don't know much about it but i know for certain it is a skill set that if you master, you can earn a lot of money from. Now, areas where I understand where you can make a lot of money from are number four, consultancy. Now, consultancy makes a lot of money. You can make, honestly, from 500 pounds to 1,000 pounds a day by being a consultant. There are project managers out there who are making six figures. I'm talking about 100 to 200K plus a year from providing project management consultancy and different forms of consultancy um, advice to organizations now people pay a lot of money for this because there are big projects out there that need someone who understands different methodologies to roll out design and you know build a team around so you know programs work efficiently now companies pay a lot of money for project managers and if you for example have you know a print to qualification people will pay 600 pounds a thousand pounds plus for project managers and program managers so you can honestly make 150,000 pounds a year to 200,000 pounds plus a year by being a consultant now this is a high income skill that more than likely you would need a degree because people will look at your experience and projects you've worked on. So unlike web design, unlike um, the other ones I mentioned, day trading and um, copywriting, where you don't need a degree, consultancy, you probably would need a degree, if I'm honest with you. But it's one that if you really want to start making some good money, there's no harm in doing a three year degree and start getting some experience in project management. There is a lot of money to be made. Now, other skills where you don't need a degree, but you can make £10,000 or $10,000 a month plus are sales. Now, sales doesn't require you to have a degree, but you can honestly sell anything from software. You could be in pharmaceutical sales. You could be selling stocks. You could be a broker. You could be selling real estate. You could be selling ships. You could be selling airplanes. You could be selling whatever, right? People who sell like yachts, they make a lot of money. People who sell Lamborghinis and supercars, they make a lot of money. People who sell software make a lot of money. So companies like Salesforce, companies like Oracle, they pay their top salespeople 10,000 plus per month in some cases because they get good commission because they're constantly closing deals. Now, Grant Cardone, for example, who is a YouTuber as well, and he also invests in real estate, pays his team literally six figures, some of his top salespeople, six figures plus a year just from closing sales. So being a good closer and persuading people to take action and influencing people to make a decision to invest money or to buy something pays a lot of money. So if you're good at speaking, if you're good at persuasion, if you're good at understanding people's needs and tailoring a solution for their needs, consider being a closer, all right? 
If you're liking this content so far, do me a favor and smash the like button. And also, don't forget to check out www.ambitiousinvestor.com, which is my personal blog. Now, let's get into number five. The fifth high income skill I recommend that you look at is this public speaking. Now, public speaking pays a lot of money. There are different thought leaders out there and people who are authorities in their space, like. I mean, Grant Cardone is one. I mean, Gary V. you can check him out. There's so many people out there that when they are asked to public speak at an event, they literally invoice these companies 100,000, 200,000, 50,000, just to go and speak literally for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. So companies and event organizers will pay thought leaders 50,000 quite easy just to go and speak somewhere 100,000 200,000 to just go and be on a panel and speak because people who are good at speaking and captivating an audience they're worthy of that money and how brands and event organizers see it is that if they put someone's name on like the headline of a show or an event they're going to attract a lot of people as well and they're going to sell a lot of tickets so if someone is a thought leader in a certain space, so it could be marketing, it could be finance, it could be personal finance, the list goes on, right? They'll be able to say, hey, it's gonna cost you 100,000 to get me and book me for this show. So if you're good at speaking, hey, you need to start thinking about being a public speaker. And all these things that I've mentioned so far, even public speaking, it takes time to learn. No one is a great public speaker overnight. You will have imposter syndrome. You will feel like, can I actually do this? Am I good enough? You have all these different thoughts and stuff and insecurities, but the more you practice, the more you'll get better. I hated talking on camera, but now I'm like, you know, really in my zone and I just talk to you guys. So public speaking, if you're good at speaking, just check it out. You can make a lot of money. So that brings me on to some other high income skills. And some of these are a bit more technical and I'm just going to list them now. Affiliate marketing is a high income skill, but affiliate marketing is something which, I mean, it's a skill set that is reliant on you understanding different, different moving parts. So that could be web design, that could be running ads, the list goes on, right? So affiliate marketing and like video editing, for example, they are really important, but you need to start thinking about like how they interact with like different moving parts. So if, for example, you're a video editor, you need to know how drones work. You need to understand how different cameras work, different lenses work, then different editing platforms like Final Cut Pro and stuff. So they, you can learn all of these, but it takes time. So affiliate marketing, video editing is another high income skill I recommend you look at, but there's so many high income skills that people are willing to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on, but it's up to you to work out what would work best. I personally feel like high income skills can be better than some investments because if you're buying stocks or crypto, you have to wait three to five years in some cases to make good money. But with high income skills, you can learn a skill in six months and then in the six months start charging people thousands and thousands of pounds. So really, really, really start checking out high income skills. Thank you very much for listening. If you've liked this content, please smash the like button and make sure that you are subscribed. I'll see you next week with some more content. Take care. Peace.